a great asset. I, I, I can I can wield a sword. I can uh, I can sharpen weapons. I, can, I, I I maybe I can join all of you. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, I'll just be on my way then. How about that? We'll just <laughs> we'll just say the scores even. And uh, we'll just go ahead and settle all bets. Uh, and, and I'll tell you what. I'll even tell you that Snaggletooth has, has a treasure chest in the back of the wagon. So consider that my payment. Ta-ta now. It was nice uh, meeting everyone. And he... And he picks up his <laughs> he picks up his weapon off of the ground and he and he uh, slings I, 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 it over his shoulder weapon. and he says, I'm out of here guys. I, I appreciate I, I, it. I, I tell him to stop, leave the weapon. Well, how, what if I get attacked by more of these beastly uh, humanoids out there? Surely you can't send me out into the darkness by myself with no weapon. You wouldn't do that, that's would the, you? That's the chance you take. I guess you would. So okay. Uh, I'll be on my way now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ta-ta! These surrendered creatures do have to obey commands. So which way does he take off walking, Dave? Is he gonna walk, run he, up on me? He, and, uh, he, no, no, he just, he just, he just starts, you know, walking, and he has his back, and he's just saying, "Okay, I appreciate it, guys. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, you won't ever see me again." And you know, he's just rattling on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. And as he walks past Torsten, Torsten clobbers him with his meaty fist. Whoa. And the orc <laughs> goes down. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, I thought we were gonna... Uh, and then he just falls over dead. The orc He's gotta get some corruption or something for I, that, man. I Come on. At, I just look at Torsten uh, and go, eh? He so a battle axe, as you say. Yeah, they have uh, they have battle axes. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I'm gonna, gonna bend down and pick his up and and weigh it. There's or, like a or, dozen or, whips. Or snack, there's a dozen or, battle or axes. Yeah. Pick up Snaggletooth's what? battle axe. Well, what kind Snaggletooth, of weapons were the foam are using? Uh, they they were all using spears, like a wooden spear. Now. Okay, I'll grab one of those. As for uh, Snaggletooth. <clears throat> He has brigadine armor on. Humanoids. Humanoid size, of course. So how, it's, they're out of combat then, right? Dave? Yeah, you hear everything go quiet. Yeah, you yeah. Just I, hear, I just want to know if we were far enough away to yeah, hear the battle. You can sound, hear the thunder yeah. rolling in the background. And you can literally hear it's so quiet, you can hear the rain beating from the small puddles on the ground. I open, my, I open my tunic. Hey, little lady, uh, it's real quiet out here, man. You want to risk flying up there with your I can't see yourself and spying ahead for me, babe? Uh, maybe babe. everybody died. Okay. Oh wow, you're awesome. Uh, as I as I feel this, my, I no I no longer have this invisible being in my tunic. I felt it kind of wriggle out and take off flying. <laughs> But I but I'm walking slowly back towards the camp. Okay. All right. You can get back to the camp eventually. You know. Also, honeysuckle. You can see that uh, all of the orc, all of the fomar, are incapacitated and lying in you know fleshy piles on the ground. Right. And you can see. Yeah. So we see a around. pile. We see like this this bunch of pile of bodies as we come back to it. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I, I spin around and say, "We won!" Oh, whoa, go team, man! I had the, uh, every confidence in them, man. You know. Oh, so glad that the two of you were able to keep safe. Uh, yeah, man, uh, that was like a big brouhaha, dude. How did how did y'all manage to get out of it alive? Not because of you, Topaz. Whoa, whoa, man, chill out, bro. Uh, you are awesome, by the way, dude. I saw you cave in that dude's head. I was like, "What? Well, he's fucking got this. So I'm on my heels, man. I'm chasing after the little lady, man. Jesus Christ. I'm going to wipe the battle axe off on, some, on one of their pieces of clothing. <laughs> Heike walks up beside Norv and just kind of looks at you, Giles, and says, Wow, what a disappointment. 
and then she just kind of walks back <laughs> over, over towards the source. <laughs> and... Well, I, I, I look to the general direction. I think the little lady last spoke from. What yeah. was all that about? And then uh, we uh, got to survive. Know, yeah, uh, what a disappointment. And then she kind of, you know, kind of taps you on the shoulder a couple <laughs> times, Norm, Norv, and says, "Wow, you're a good fighter." And then she just walks back over towards Torsten. And... <laughs> okay. Why, thank you, my friend. Right. Time. I'm so, I think, I think she likes you, man. Going through some of these orc corpses. And sure. Maybe the tents. Okay. Well, and. Yeah, and, why and walk when they can just, take a, a cart? There's nothing of, of any value. Just, you know, personal belongings and stuff. Uh, the whips, if you want a whip, you can have a whip. Uh, you can have a battle axe. You can have a spear. Uh, there's brigadine armor on uh, Snaggletooth. Uh, vi this is just, you know, visually what you guys can, you know, see. Okay. I'm, you I'm, know, the I'm, the I'm fire is starting to chest. dim out. Towards, I'm going towards the wagon. Okay. Well, nobody's paying attention on me. Okay. You go into the wagon and there is a... Oh, I don't want any of that stuff, so you don't think I'm going towards where money may be? No, so like, uh, I, I turn to the little lake. So like, let's go find this Philip dude you've been talking about. Maybe he's got some smoke, man. And don't forget, uh, he said <laughs> there was a chest on the back of this cart over here. He should be in your equipment bag. Oh, uh, whoa, he's that little. I'm gonna walk over there and check it out, man. Yeah, you can find a. You can. Find Yo, a Philip, there, dude. Sure. Phil, are you are you over here, man? Ribbit. You can. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They're friends. You can speak. Oh, what? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. What's up, Phil? Uh, whoa, nice Phil. Well, I, I, I was, uh, I heard all of this, and, and unfortunately, in the current state that I'm in, I, I just, uh, I, I wish I could help all of you. Oh, I, I was, how <laughs> he I says he to, used to be a human. Oh, how I long to hold a sword again in my hands. What's happened then? Hey, but thanks, hey, thanks, Honeysuckle, for stowing me in that bag. Uh, I, I almost thought that I was going to become a, a toadstool later on. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so all our equipment's here. I grab my equipment. And, uh, yeah, so... My bag of marbles and my, my <laughs> tube of glue, I think, is about all I Sure. <laughs> sure. Now, everybody can add five bits... Of all of the 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 dead fomors and the dead orc, everybody can add five bits to their character sheet. Now, there's also, like I said, there's like a dozen spears, there's a dozen whips, there's a dozen battle axes, and there's uh, a set of uh, well, a suit of brigandine armor that is uh, basically on on a Snaggletooth's body. How do you yeah. add? How do you add the dice to like onto the sheet? Uh, oh, you just take drag the, and drop. Just drag it bottom yeah. left. Yep, just drag. Take the dice and drag it on there. And then the box is the modifier box. So what are you guys doing? You you did hear about this uh, this chest? Yeah, I'm checking out the back of the cart. Do I see any chest? Yeah. You see a pile was, of hay and a I couple was barrels. For it first, but... Yeah, there's a yeah. I, 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 North got me yeah, I heard uh, two, two was saying he was over there too. So, yeah, as both of you are looking into the cart, you see like a small pile of hay and and a couple of barrels. And on the barrels, you know, you can see that it's got a couple of orc skulls, you know, kind of burned into the side of the barrel. You know, it's basically more more rot gut. Artie Low TV. The first thing so I do is Artie. give Philip a hug. It. Thanks for the follow. Yo, the guys, follow. what you find over there, man? Any smoke? I'm gonna take my spear and kind of start pushing a little the hay to the side. Sure. Yeah, you can feel something under the under the hay. Oh, oh. A two. A There's solid. Here. Pretty, you want to check Pretty it heavy, out. solid object. Yeah. I'm um, I'm uh, stepping inside the wagon and going for. What he found in the hay. Sure, you push Don't get rid of all the hay. We can take the cart with us. Yeah, it's got oxen and everything on it, babe. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the hay 
and take the box and put it on the end of the, the wagon to get it open. Well, you yeah. kind of push the push the hay to the side, and there's a a small box, like a small lock box or a chest. Well, that and, seems nicer than your common orc boxes. Uh, yeah, say, man. and in this yeah. in this wagon, there's also uh, a couple more swords. So there's two swords. There's six more spears. There is a a crossbow, and a quiver of ten bolts. There are two suits of leather armor. There's a couple of small shields. There is a uh, something interesting that you really have only read about in being a bag a, of a bag of pipe weed, man. A of no, actually a a flintlock pistol. Whoa! What is this mysterious contraption? No. Yeah. And that's just stuff this that's kind of yeah, but I'm not the, touching it. Day. This is some serious loot here, guys, man. Uh, I think we just hit the jackpot, dude. Yeah. Yeah, are the, any of this armors, uh, armor sets uh, big enough or small enough to fit me? Uh, let's see. Sure, you can, you can, you can wear it. A little bit of a modification. Sure, you can wear it. Absolutely. I think yeah, I don't think they'd be about, small enough for me. I don't. I think there's um, something about uh, smaller and larger races in here. I have to look it up. But sure, yeah, you could with a little modification. You could. Uh, you can wear that uh, leather armor. Sure. Yeah, we'll hand it up, man. And I'm. I'm. I'm taking <laughs> well, also one leather armor. Well, okay. Right. So how many suits of leather? I'm thinking about grabbing one too, Dave. This is like the meal cart that comes around sometimes. So I'm, I'm thinking about getting mine. Uh, I know, he's walking around patched clothing. Is it just like a queue here that I get in line and grab something? That there's there were there were two suits of armor. Now there is a you know this flintlock pistol. There's also a crossbow, right. some bolts, a couple of swords. Six can I spears. do like an intelligence roll or something to recognize this pistol or whatever? Sure. Yeah, mean, you can do an intelligence roll. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I, I just want to know if I know what's up with this thing. <laughs> absolutely. You can, you can uh, try to determine what you know about it. Give me an intelligence roll. Oh, my God. I can't even see it. Oh, wow. That. I, that suck. You've I suck. only seen pictures of it. Yeah, oh, I have. I have seen uh, images of this. Yeah, okay. you you have seen well, you have I, seen drawings of it. I. What are we gonna do it, with this thing, man? It, it's in my uh my backstory that I worked at a library and um. You know what this well is, over the age. So do you want me to do an intelligence role as well, or? Yeah, you can, and and in fact, for working in a library, you can add a boon on there also. I'll let you add a boon. Because of your vast knowledge uh, you know, and the amount of languages that you know so you've definitely put the time in <laughs> oh, okay there you go so you got a total of uh, 15 yeah you, you know that this thing works it has a, a type of lead ball that you would insert into the barrel and also it takes some type of magical apothecary type of uh, uh, flammable powder to make it work and I, I relay all this to everyone. Wow, man, this thing's pretty awesome, then, right, honeysuckle? It can, it well, can definitely for you, kill it can be. Uh, do we know That's where to problem. get it's this really magic good. powder that you speak of? Uh, I've never heard of such things. Engineers can we buy it at any town? Can, yeah, can oh, right, yeah, stuff. like at the mm -hmm. at the alchemy. alchemist shop, yeah, or something. Whoa, so who wants this thing, man? It's very shiny. I think I can get it a lot of uh, bud with this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> my, my, my pouch is, I could turn it inside out and it wouldn't matter, man. We got to get something in there. Huh? Well, with, especially with this score, guys. I mean, look, this thing is shiny as hell, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, really? could get, we could get silver and gold pieces for this thing, man. Just, just keep it away from me. What uh, else did you say was in there with that, with the flintlock? There's a, a there chest. something else. There are a couple of swords. There's a crossbow. There are, uh, there's a quiver of uh, ten, or a quarrel of ten bolts. Some spears. Uh, let's see. Snaggletooth has brigadine armor, and that's that's pretty much. And the chest. 
What about this one. box here? Uh, What's in the chest? No one opened it yet? It's, uh, it's Does close. anybody have a key? No, I was going to open the chest. Maybe Snaggletooth had the key, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna claim one of the cross I'm gonna claim the crossbow if no one else wants it. Sure. I can I can uh I can add the crossbow to your character sheet if you'd like me to. I think Mr. I can do Plunker. it. Okay, just drag and drop it from the uh player section. Drag and drop it and you got ten ten quarrels. I'm 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 thinking about taking the gun. You won't do I see two eyeing it and I immediately images of him crushing skulls and stuff popping my Yeah, you wanted this man? Yeah, you'd probably be able to handle this a little bit better than everybody else did. Who took armor? I go ahead and I go ahead and grab the smaller sized uh, leather. I armor. took uh, uh yeah, I just want to the leather two in north. A shield and uh, one of the whips. Okay. Yeah, soft arm, soft drag leather, all that stuff leather. on there if you don't mind. If you don't, if you don't mind, can you drag and drop all that equipment on there? Go to go to your inventory yeah. and just drag and drop. It's okay. all on the tabs down below. Like the sword icon okay. is the weapons and the, you know, et cetera, and et cetera. Yeah, it should be all in alphabetical order anyway. So just add add any stuff. It's all drag and drop. So. All right. So, who? Anybody going? Yeah. Don't anybody forget going if you for the take a, armor? a shield or whatnot that um, adds to your defense. And I'll scoop up that brigadine, Dave. If it looks like they're just ignoring it, totally. Yeah, it man. looks like yeah. If you want to scoop it up, drag and drop it on your character sheet, and uh, uh, put it on do I need to go into the uh, the library and get and get that? Okay. Yeah, the you items, need to go into okay. the items. Yeah, right hand side. Yeah. Thank you, I found yeah, No problem. Brigadine armor, you said? Okay. Brigadine, mm -hmm. yeah. And then there will be some, uh, just click on Brigadine armor when you drag and drop it. The little red tab will have all the stats for it. There there may be some kind of speed modification involved with that heavy armor, too. So the uh, the box, what are you guys doing with the box? Surely, I looked through this Brigadine armor, Dave. Is there a key? This is Snaggletooth's armor, right? Is there a yeah. key to this chest? In you know here? what? I'm just that, checking the inner pockets. Yeah, because as you're peeling the, you know, all of the pieces off of them, there is a, uh, there was a small pocket lined on the inside of this, and it, and it has a key. A uh, score, inside dude! This, yeah. I yell out, score! I found the key, man. Maybe this opened the, the nice fancy box over there. Or maybe to let me open it. I get to look first. I found the key, guys. No, if it's made of iron, I'm not touching it. I don't know what it's... I'm not a metallurgist, baby. But it, uh, it, it looks like it might hurt you. Don't touch it. It's like kryptonite to the uh, to the fae. <laughs> exactly. It's kryptonite. So, yeah, I walk up to the box, man. Uh, look what I found, too. I look at it uh, for approval. Sure. It looks like it uh, it, look, it, it, okay. it fits into the hole when you, when you put it in. I open it. All right, click. You open up the lid. There is uh, quite a bit of stuff in there. You smell this. First thing that, that, that you smell is like a phosphorus type of smell. All right, like a like a burnt slash phosphorus type of smell. Okay. And there's a sack on the right-hand side. Like rotten eggs or something. Yeah. Mm, sort of, kind of. But, yeah, sort of, kind of. Um, then there's a, this bag. Hold on one second. There is a... Okay. Uh, there is a, a scroll in a scroll case. There is also a uh, a kit there that has all kinds of you know religious iconage and symbols on it, which is a healer's kit. There are awesome, also under the healer's kit there are two healing potions, and there is also a bunch of coins on the bottom. So there's a hundred jackpot. Jackpot, yeah, guys. There's a hundred copper, and uh, I'll just round it up to. In fact, there's twenty two silver. So. Okay. And once all that stuff gets off the top of that, she's like, "Wait, wait, wait! I've always wanted to do this." And then she Scrooge McDucks it. Uh, okay. Into wow. the coins. Oh, don't hurt <laughs> you. Yeah. Don't hurt your As head. you bounce right, bounce right off of a bing ow. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, now, as for Heike and uh, Torsten, they both want to cut as well. They said, uh, okay. you know, we, we help, so we should all get even cuts as well. 
So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. So we'll say that there's enough in there for, uh, we'll say, 15 copper pieces a piece. So everybody can have 15 copper pieces. Whoa. And then everybody can have four silver pieces. So there's enough for four silver pieces for everyone. Now, we're rich. we're rich. We are rich. Yeah. I've never seen this much money in one place in my whole life, man. I'm that, so glad I met you yeah. guys, man. Uh, the the best stuff that you can get is like uh, like a silver wee willy. Right. That's like super expensive. As I know that, Dave. I checked out the economy <laughs> system. It's pretty it's pretty grim dark as far as money's concerned. <laughs> yeah. But this is a this is like oh my God. more money than than people making a year, from what I know, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Farmers and there's stuff. Something like a peasant, like a peasant. Yeah. Like now there's two healing. There's two healing potions in here. There's right. this small sack, and it's a very, very. It looks like a very watertight type of pouch. It's not a, a. It's a leather pouch, and then there are these two healing potions and also uh, a med kit, a medical kit. Okay. Now, despite my better instincts, I'm going to say this, we should probably let, we should probably let Giles keep the healing kit and the and the healing potions. Oh yeah, man, I, I, I could totally patch you guys up. I don't know anything about uh, mechanics or anything, you know, but if we find some sort of tools, maybe, you know, I could pick it up, man. I, I'm pretty quick on the uptake, brother. <laughs> I was agree. Any, was, was anything else in the pouch? I don't know. I'm going to open this nice, nicely sewn pouch today, the watertight pouch. Or sure. Whatever. Yeah, you, so you open it up, and there's sort of like another pouch, a smaller pouch <laughs> It's inside. like the little Russian dolls? Oh yeah. It's like, I yeah. keep opening pouches, though. <laughs> so the <this> smaller <laughs> pouch, you open it up, and it has five round lead Whoa. balls, uh, and they're uh, really hey, heavy. Yeah. Light bulb goes off, Dave. I turn, I turn uh, to the little lady. Yo, honey, baby. Uh, look <laughs> at these here. things. Look, oh, 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 there you are. Look at these things, man. These are. Is this like the balls that we need for this gun thing, dude? They are. I fly up and sit on his wrist and look at him. Yep. Wow, you're warm. Oh yeah, so they are. That is them. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm gonna put them back in the pouch, Dave, but. You said the whole thing smelled like this sulfurish. Right? Yeah, and then when you open up that pouch, not being intimately familiar yeah. with with that stuff is is one is is that like the powder? I, I the do powder, have a correct. cantrip uh, sense yeah. and that's magic, where, so yeah. If if I need that to make sure that this works with the gun, okay. we have everything. You know that I can it works that. with the gun. You don't have to do that now. If you right. if you okay. do that sense magic, you know. So if you you know when you do you do your sense magic, the two potions. They are. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're this, is primo, this is primo stuff, man. You yeah. buy this only at the finest apothecaries. Dude, this is like the score of the century. Yeah, they're healing potions. They're actually labeled as healing potions. Life what? potions. Right. Well, like so, fancy labels and stuff on them, too. Yes, whoever has the gun, please drag and drop that onto your sheet. The stats are on that gun. There are some pretty. Cool now, I hand I hand two the balls and the and the powder to Dave if he's going to use the gun. Okay, who, gonna who's going to who's going to do that? Who's going to have it? Okay, yeah, so two, two took the gun. Okay. Two took the gun. All right, so two. Go ahead and drag and drop the gun on there, and you have enough for five shots. Okay. I just make sure that it's five not shots. an iron gun. The, well, yeah. the the ammunition is is lead, so. Lead, yeah. yeah. And we'll, you know, we'll. They got like a wood the, grip. I mean, it, it, is the gun is, mostly wood? It yeah. is wo wooden and and you know copper and stuff like that. So, now um, the healer's kit. How do I find it exactly? Uh, in the the items, just uh, just type search in there, uh, gun or whatever. Uh, hold on one second, Lord. Whoever gets the medical kit. Drop that onto your sheet. Yeah, I took that. All right, let me find it. Who I couldn't wants... find the brigadine armor, Dave. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, brigadine armor. Get up technical it, it's, things. It's okay. Uh, I can. I'll drop it on your sheet right now. So I enjoy. appreciate it, man. God, you're awesome. Brigadine armor. There you go. It's on your sheet. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. It wasn't so, showing up on the items list. Who is yeah. uh, getting the 
the healing I'm getting potions. the medical kit. Uh, the, well, I'm, I don't know about the potions. I think maybe 13 should definitely have one, at least one of these potions, dude. You're up there in the front, and maybe you little guy, man, you too. You guys, I, I, I saw you before I, I made haste to catch up with the little lady, man. You guys were kicking some ass, man. So, yeah, I think you two need to hold on to it. The big guy here, as I kind of tap the metal exoskeleton of it, the big guy here, he don't need no healing love, brother. He, he His soul is encased in this steel frame, so he's cool. You guys don't need I, it. I do beg to differ that my armor does, my, my metal chassis here does actually take damage and it will heal up oh okay oh wow dude man this is this is some tech i don't know nothing about man but it's awesome but that soul of yours would be better off in heaven marvels of saying. engineering that's what they're <laughs> called in this game marvels of engineering all right so two potions who's getting the healing potions i'll go ahead and take one of them all right nor if you are going to have one i'm going to add it to your sheets yeah no, i'm getting the other one jesus lord what else are you taking if they want that. Oh, slump. Thanks, man. Two healing potions. Yeah, you take it work too, on man. Clockwork. God, you, you're, you, man, you're right up there in the in the grill of everything, dude. You're awesome, well, it, man. It says that I heal damage as any other creature, unless I'm um, incapacitated, in which case I am then an object. Well, and hold on. Someone has to repair me with a tool Shoot. kit. Okay, like now hold on, hold on, hold on, Dave. Dave, uh, as as he's talking about he's he 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 hurts and stuff. He, he was having telling me that his skin or whatever. You said you can be damaged, Clank. Clank. Like, it, does it affect? Do you feel the pain and stuff, dude? I uh, I don't feel the pain, but I could be damaged. Well, hold on, man. This is going to sound totally crazy, but um. I'm going to try and use my healing mojo, man. You know, I told you several times that I've got the spirit within me, brother. I am fucking overflowing with the goddess's love, man. Let me try and do some of my healing magic on you and see if that affects you. You look pretty banged up from that last fight, brother. And I'm going to try and cast a, a, my cantrip, my cure cantrip on it. Today. So does a, uh, uh, I believe a clockwork is affected by healing magic, right? Uh, as far as I can tell, yeah. Unless I go incapacitated, yeah. then I have to be ma like manually repaired, and yeah. then I can be healed. Sure. But Giles is figuring that out for himself right now. He has no. Yeah. Idea. Yeah. Sure. No, I, I like that. So you're going to use uh, one of your cantrips on. on right, let Planker. me see what the name of it is, Dave. It, it is a uh, minor healing. Is the, the name of it. Okay. He so heals for half his healing rate, I believe. Okay. So you get ha half your healing rate, and what is your what is your healing rate? And in fact, that's what my I'm healing add in the rate tra is. What is uh three? Okay, so you'll get back half of that, which is basically. Can you one. feel it, brother? Do you feel the goddess's love touching your very soul, man? As I'm channeling this magic into it. Well, I don't know about the guy's love, but you can see the metal right here closing itself up. <laughs> Whoa, man, I am so freaking awesome, dude. I just, I just healed your metal skin with the goddess's power, man. You know how fucking awesome that is, Clinky? Well, I do appreciate the healing magic. Yes. Oh, man, anytime, man. Just hit me up, brother. Uh, I would be happy to soothe every pain your soul has. <laughs> What is it, too, man? I I, I I I still got a little mojo left. You mean trying to while, heal while, you, I, man? while you are rambling, I'm I'm doing my nimble recovery. Okay. I'm like, right. Nor how you doing? Uh, on time? You doing okay? On little time? flash wounds. Um, yeah, I can go till six thirty. Okay. All right, gotcha. We'll try to finish it as quick as we can. I just don't want you to be late for it. Well, if no, I... we are doing that, if we can, I um, actually use my. Uh... Well, no, I better. I might should save that. Never mind. I still have the cure spell. I mean, I still have some more of the goddess's mojo in me, man. I I kind of want to heal up uh, the big guy over here, man. Two, will you let me try and heal you with the goddess's magic? I know you hate the gods and all, brother, but you're kind of banged up. Uh. Dave, my number with coffee lets me use my uh, healing weight. Okay. Just uh, full healing weight, so. What, once per day, right? Or something like that? Yep. Okay. Hey, hey, Ola, Giles was just asking you a question there. Yeah, man, I'm trying to put the power. I'm trying to give you some of the power, man. The God, man. I'm trying to. Trying What's your to healing heal rate, too? Two. 
so, and if he's going to heal me also. I got to see what this spell, this spell takes away like madness and insanity too. I mean, uh, insanity and um, the other thing, corruption too. Let me, let me look at the, the details. I'm yeah, not I getting, think also, uh, it's not popping disease out. Disease and poison too, so. if I could, I, I could be wrong on that one. Might be I the other one. Find it. Let's see, spells. Oh, no, no, no. I, I put, uh, they should be on the main. Just go under uh, whatever your life. Well, I mean, yeah, but uh, it's okay. I, but if I click on the spell name itself, it doesn't pop out the description. I'll, I'll find it. Yeah, you have to. It, it's all on there. Uh, all right, under it says remove, also, remove uh, one of the following afflictions disease, fatigue, impaired, or poison. I can only grant one of these boons, though. There's three yeah. sections of boons. So I can remove one insanity as a choice. I can re remove any penalty to his health. Or he could heal damage equal to his half his healing rate. I can use it as my other heal, basically. Yep. Pretty nice. So I, I use that. I try and heal him uh, again okay. for half his rate. Dude. Does he still look messed up after he? I saw him like doing some sort of internal healing type of thing. No, uh, you could you could see uh, some of the wounds. Uh, I mean, they didn't fully close up, but yeah, it looks like. Yeah, uh, he got he got hit pretty hard though. Uh -huh. as I seem to recall. Who who are you healing? I've, I'm all two. Confused I'm healing okay. two now, brother. I already put the love on you. It's been proven that Giles can heal even metal with his hands. But now I'm going to try and heal up, heal up our friend over here, man. He, he got looks like he took the brunt of the attack, judging from the appearance of him. But I, I stopped. I stopped uh, myself, Dave. What about, what about uh, who got the healer's kit? Did you add that to your? I got sheet? the healer's kit. Okay. I got to find it. Yeah, got I, I got right. to find it. Everybody uh, added Dave, their. No. Silver and copper. I, I added my silver and copper. I made sure. I added my silver and copper, but my items. Okay. I don't wait till after. Not. You will get that after afterwards, there, Lord. I have added my silver and copper. Okay. I've added the crossbow and the battle axe. Okay. I've got I the healer's kit. Sure I'm good to go, brother. Have all of your equipment. Your healing potions have been have been uh, given to you as well. So you so you know. The the battlefield is around you. I mean, what are you guys doing? You know, the the sun will be coming up and well, there was other five, groups. There hours. was other caravans besides this one, right, Dave? I mean, this, yeah, but they all so were really, what, what, what time is it? It's right. probably but, about, uh, I'd say about one o'clock in the morning by now. Oh, so I'm, everybody can see me now. Okay. Because okay. you can I'm see gonna... me from midnight to one. Okay. What's up, cutie pie? That's a good idea, Norv, because you could <laughs> grab, grab probably the sell that stuff. Throw them in there too. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Anything Take it. that looks like it might be a value, we'll throw it. Just throw it up in the cart. Okay. I think it's probably a bad idea to hang around here, guys, man. I mean, we don't well, sure. know where these these monkey men came from, man. They can have can like a whole the village like next door to us for all we know. We need to get this cart loaded up and get the heck out of here, brother. Head back towards the town. I don't know. The orcs look like they had control of the whole town, but maybe some people survive, man. Let's get well, back to civilization. You're you're pretty much the where you're at in the old forest right now. You are pretty much centrally located in the middle of all four of these locations in the old wood. The asylum, okay. that small farming community, uh, Last Hope, the small town with the basically they're at a juncture at one of the main crossroads in the old forest. You know, major hub of like uh, caravan stopping and whatnot. Probably the largest of uh, all four areas. Then there's Fletcher's Rest, where you came from, where you're from, Giles. Uh, you know, the Cult of the New Gods there, and the, the uh, Tomb of the Martyr. Very famous hot spot for all of the visitors of the, the Cult of the, of the New God. And then there's Respite, another small village, uh, heavily influenced by the Cult of the New God. And they just built a beautiful new temple. So, and I'm going to suggest yeah. heading to there then, Dave. Do I think when we were leaving the town originally... I would go that, to that, 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 that town was, was destroyed totally. I mean, do, do I get that impression? Uh, f no, Fletcher's Rest was not destroyed. No, just... Uh, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, it's not like they were taking torches. They just yeah, everybody's gone. Yeah, they, they raided it. Yeah, they, they definitely did. 
So. Yeah, I kind of don't want to get ne near orcs again. I scratched that. I whoa, hold on. But Fletcher's Rest might not be too good, guys. I know this other place. You know, it's just got a temple and stuff. Right no, let's go to Last Hope. But yeah, if, yeah, Last Hope. Uh, okay, whatever you but, say, big guy. Philip, you know well, geography. Where's the closest place to here that we can go? Uh, yeah, yeah. What? What is it, little lady? But what if the other groups were attacked like this one? The people might they might be sufficiently weakened. Uh, I don't know, man. Well, uh, last well even if we stay off to the beaten path, because we all need to take a nap. That was a long day. It's, indeed, it was. We do need to rest. Yes. I will say. Let's this get about the car last and hope. get into another part of the woods. Man. Yeah, I will say this about Last Hope. It is the largest. They actually have a militia. So, would the orcs attack there? I don't know. Maybe if they okay. did a full-on attack, uh, like as in, uh, you know, at Fletcher's Rest, maybe. But I don't know. That's to see. But you can go to any of these four locations. So, which way do you guys want to go? You guys have four choices laid out in front of you. The big guy says okay. Last Hope, and from what I know about Last Hope, man, I don't think we got to worry about orcs at least. Hmm. Okay. Now my friend Giles probably wants to know which ones have pipe weed vendors. Uh, they all, <laughs> I am informed, have pipe weed vendors. It's just the people are very stingy once they visit said vendors with people on the street that ask him for a hit of smoke. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Have you guys experienced humanity's uh, stinginess as of late? It's a serious problem, and the goddess is on it. <laughs> Fisty the Plowbot thanks you all. Uh, he is going to travel back to Fletcher's Rest. He does have everything that he owns there. Uh, Be careful. He hates to see you not go back to Fletcher's Rest because he does need uh, laborers, but he understands. And he, you know... I, I look at this pile of coin. That <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be cutting any freaking trees down here in the near future, though, buddy. But yeah, thanks for the offer, man. <laughs> Anytime that you need work, you can always come back to Fletcher's Rest, and you'll always have a job here at uh, Fisty's Lumber Mill. I'll preach, I mean, man. Preach. Fisty just kind of disappears uh, off into the darkness. Poof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So Fisty yeah, logs guys, out. Think... Okay, yeah. I think we should just pull this cart onto another campsite, man. Uh, okay. Let's leave this pile of dead bodies and carnage for the crows to pick at, man. I don't want anything to do with it. Well, Norris uh, starts to pick up all of the extra weapons and stuff. And he says, oh, yeah, we exactly, can sell this right. and, and last hope, probably. I'll help with that, actually. So, yeah. Sure. Everybody takes about 10, 15 minutes and tidies up. Gets all of the, uh, you know, all of the, the whips and the spears and, you know, everything is yeah. thrown into the cart. All right. Wow. So, looks like destination is last hope, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Well, I don't know. I hadn't heard out of the little lady and Clanker and Nor. What did you have to say about it, brother? Last hope sounds good to me. It sounds good. Yeah, man. I heard Hopefully, got we can find and a white weed vendor there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, surely we will. And then you I, you won't be bothered to consult your pouch when I ask for something. You can say there's a vendor at us. I know how this goes, man. <laughs> I know how this goes. Heike said that uh, her and uh, Torson will depart at Last Hope as well. They were they were eventually heading there anyway. So. Looks like okay. we are heading to last. Hope you guys get to rest it up. Uh, the the journey is uneventful uh, because you took care of uh, the problem at hand here, mm -hmm. and you guys make it the last hope, and that's where we will continue next week. All right, so, all the way back to last hope. I am bugging too the whole time. I'm asking him how, how he fought. I want him to give me like a play by play, like a wrestling recap of this whole thing. I'm totally uh, <laughs> asking him about this. Though. Well, that that's what we can start with next week on the all journey right, back right. to last hope. How about that? Awesome. Okay, so there we go, guys. Uh, great first session. G fun time. GFG day. <clears throat> that was awesome. That was uh, that was very fun. So. Good game. Yep, yep very fun. Yeah, Thank you, Dave. Great job, everybody. Great role playing, guys. Great job. Great job, everybody. Everybody good to go next uh, Sunday? Should be fine. Yep, should be All right. fine. Should be good. All right. Well, I will see you guys uh, next Tuesday. Lord, I'll be with you in just a minute. And uh, okay. thanks for playing. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, Dave. Have fun at work, North. See you, buddy.